Hi everybody, welcome to the latest in our series of mindsetting videos with Steve Backley and Roger Black. The latest um, subject that we're going to cover today is about aligning values. So very simple question to Steve, what do you mean by aligning values? Yeah, it's it's an important one, Malcolm. You know, um, values. We, we've, I mean, we've probably learned a lot about this in in our work in retirement of our of our corporate work of designing and delivering workshops and helping other people's performance. Uh, but essentially, what it means is um, the, the 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 things that are that drive your decision making. They're the things that drive your behaviours. They're, the, they're the things that you know are at your core that maybe are not quite aware of. Um, and and we, the premise is that we have two choices. We can either, you know, listen to them, identify them and then act upon them, or we can become reactive to stuff that's coming at us that other people's values are imposed upon us. Um, and, and we have decisions to make. And, and you know, one, it comes back and we've talked in previous videos about awareness, but it's, it's part of that awareness thing is, but it's specifically to the criteria that lies within our DNA that makes us happy, makes us content, makes us operate uh, optimally based on what is truly uh, most important to us. So for example, if, um, if, a, if adventure is a more important value than safety, we'll probably take up skydiving <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a crude kind of example. Um, but when that becomes a lot more elaborate when you take into account of you know, health, well-being, fitness, uh, finance, stability, and all these different things that are values, um, the things that make us tick. I think the thing about these, Malcolm, is that they're very, you know, they're personal, they're personal to you. You can have seven athletes, eight athletes lining up for an Olympic final, um, but they haven't all got the same backgrounds, uh, the same history, and they certainly won't have the same values. They'll have quite a lot in common if they're Olympic athletes, but I think it's um. As Steve said, it's when it comes down to the big decisions you need to make in life and, and the small ones. Somebody who I trained with and who influenced me was a guy called Daley Thompson. You may remember Daley won the Olympic decathlon title on two, two, two um, occasions. Now, I know, actually like Steve, um, one of Daley's greatest value, uh, values and probably his number one was competition. He loved to compete. You know, you, it, honestly, he was awful to play tennis with, you, you know, because <laughs> if you beat him, it, he was a miserable. I mean, he, he wanted to win at everything. And it's not a coincidence, of course, that he's one of the greatest athletes of all time. So competition was really important to him. Now, competition to me was important, but it wasn't my most important value. And, and I think it's understanding and, and ranking your values. And, and if you're congruent with those, um, and they, they may change at different moments on your career. When I started athletics, I didn't really think about it. I just ran. Once I got injured, my, I had to ask myself about my values. I mean, I, you know, it mattered to me. Uh, you know, competition, yes, but it was bigger than that. For me, it, it was about growth. You know, I need to feel I was growing. Um, connection, I needed, I needed connection with other people. I needed to be surrounded by other people. Not everyone's like that. A lot of people like to be individuals. So I think when it comes to decision-making, being very clear about your values and sharing those with your, your teammates. I mean, Steve and I work together. We know each other. We're pretty aware of each other's values. So I might make a, have an opinion on something uh, which he may not agree with, but he'll understand why I've got it because he knows my values. And so I think within the team of, of, of any business, that's really important as well. But certainly as athletes, you know, understanding your own personal values and respecting and understanding the values of the people that were on your team uh, was a really, really important part of high performance. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think those values have, um, have translated across into your um, post-athletics career. For, for sure they have. And that understanding of that key word uh, congruent, I think, you know, to, to pull that feeling across, because it, it is a feeling when you when you are truly congruent, you, you have um, freedom because I think you, you, you know that you're acting and behaving in a way that's aligned to who you truly are. And that sounds quite maybe fluffy, but, it, but it, when you have that freedom um, and, and, you know, to pull that across into um, in, into working life. You know, you could have two organisations, two identical in the same industry with the same goals and the same aspirations, but will go in completely different directions because they will yeah. be behaving in a way, you know, and that, and that comes back to the culture of an organisation, which I think we, we, we do a lot of work on. So, so the point here is, 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 again, taking the time to stop and work out truly what the values are so that we can then act accordingly. Uh, and, 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 
before now, I don't think we ever took the time to do that. Again, we were probably quite fortunate, Rog, because we, you know, we 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 sort of maybe did that quite instinctively as athletes mm. because mm. we would be quite ruthless and driven and focused. But the real world isn't like that. We we appreciate that. The real world is much more convoluted and complex, and 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 you know, there are marginal decisions to make. But it's much more simple in a way we simplify the decision making at least to ourselves when we understand the values and then we act congruently meaning that we act according to the values that we've identified that's brilliant thanks guys we'll uh, see you next week for the next one in the series look forward to it okay.